Sounds. Hi, my name is Yakis Tichinsky. I'm a jazz trumpet player, composer, ranger, based in Ukraine. And today I'm reviewing four mouthpiece boosters made by KGU Brass Manufacturing Company. So, we got uh, four models here. Radius, it's light version, it's 45 grams. Um, radiator, which is 67 grams, it's a little bit heavier. Classic, which is probably most popular model they produce, it's 75 grams, and the heavy one, is, which is 120 grams. All these things I will record with the uh, ML51 micro with the microphone on Shilky X3 trumpet and with the most regular mouthpiece I could possibly find, Bach 3C. I usually don't really talk about gear because Usually that's not the thing that I care about because, you know, I learned my instrument the way I can play it beautifully despite any technical circumstances. I can take the cheapest trumpet and make it sound good and that's, you know, what I practiced for. But we really need to analyze what those things are made for and how you can use them in an artistic way. So uh, I recorded the same phrase with four voices with no booster and with four different models so we know what we need them for and use them not in the way it looks better but in the way it sounds better. So let's see what we got here. We have four tracks of trumpet, uh, just four different voices and the same phrase recorded five times with no booster and with all four models that I had. Um, it has no EQ, no compression, no effects on. It has only a spectrum analyzer on top, just to, th to see those frequencies. So, okay, let's check our first phrase with no booster, how it sounds in a regular way. Okay, now radius. Radiator. Classic. And heavy. So I didn't expect that, but the difference is so clear and obvious. So the thing that I did, I tried to articulate heavily. I tried to articulate it in, you know, really uh, expressive way. And you can see... You can see these spikes here. These spikes are attack. The you, We have this overtone row that appears for that millisecond that little moment at the very beginning of the note. We will check out how it sounds with radius, which is the lightweight booster. We can see that these lines are now thicker. It means that the attack is a little bit wider and longer. Also, we can see that we, ha we got no high end. So it means that the attack is now wider and a little bit darker than it was before. But it sounds even more aggressive because of that. So radiator has that aggressive tone here. So I tried to play with the same dynamics all five times. And I think that booster adds a little bit of that energy here. And we can see that radiator is even more, is even louder than radius. And you can see that these lines are now really thick. You can actually see the difference. Clearly, the interesting thing starts with the heavier models. 
because it gets even darker and we start to lose this aggressiveness and we get this dark, soft, I don't know, cool jazzy tone. You can see that now these are just brush strokes instead of those thin lines. And it gets a little bit quieter, a little bit softer, and um, I actually I like it. <laughs> and here we have this heavy booster. You can see this like last note is even, it's like a brick of sound. Comparing to classic, you can see that we have this high frequencies at the beginning and then it gets softer and here it is it's just even so the conclusion is that all four mouthpiece boosters create different effect it largely depends on the weight of the booster i cannot really analyze the shape but uh, all four models are really different and now it's your turn to decide what sound do you want? My personal uh, conclusion is that if I'd like to have more of that bite at the beginning of the sound, that aggressive attack, I would use lighter versions like this radius one. The radiator one makes your sound really loud and aggressive. If you want a darker sound, you need to take a heavier model. So if you want to play, I don't know, cool jazz or chamber music, I think heavy model could be pretty useful. So now it's your turn to benefit from this, not just to take this booster because of its look, but because of its sound properties. So I hope this information was useful and uh, see you soon. Bye.